Good night, sheep. Sweet dreams. What is that? What is that? Just go to sleep. <laughs> Wait, Sweetheart presents Sweetheart's con Quest for Hearts? It claims you found show tickets. We didn't find them. We kind of just killed the owners. Orange Oasis. Okay. It's a bit of a banger. Okay, Pinwheel Forest. I don't remember where we're supposed to go next. West of the stump, thank you very much. Oh, right, with the spiders. Are we going to get, like, a new, like, spooky spider area? I did want to check up here again. Because this is where the... I believe the... Oh, right, right, right. This is the first ladder. Okay. Um. Oh, no, no, no. This is, the, this is a different ladder. Right? This is a different ladder because I remember the first time... The first time we went to the ladder in Pinwheel Forest, they said this is the wrong ladder. But then we overcame the fear of ladders, and now we can climb up this one. What is this? I feel like I'm about to get jump scared. Oh, there's the, uh, another ladder. Okay, cool. Right, job for Mori. Is that a floating hat? That is a floating hat. Propeller Ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. <laughs> it's like Beard Ghost. The letter C. Do we think that the letter C is part of the Hangman puzzle without anybody spoiling? Um... Okay, let's let's piece this together. So this word right here, this word is definitely two. Okay, actually no, there's a few things it could be. There are more than just two possibilities of what a two-letter word could be. This is not the word B, because B is right here and so is E. It's not an, because it would say A-N, and we already have the A. I don't think the letter C is in this. Wait a minute, wait. Welcome. Welcome to. It would be. It would be welcome to. <gasps> welcome to brain space. It's welcome to brain space. Try not to look at the rest of the chat because I'm, I'm trying to. Do, I'm trying to do the puzzle. A keys left. I'm trying to do the I'm trying to do the puzzle without getting any spoilers for it. There's a hole here. Reach into the hole. Oh god. Uh, what is this gonna be? This is probably gonna be something. You felt someone hold your hand? I mean, at least it just held the hand, but still. It's welcome. It's welcome. It's welcome to brain um oh. Something else. Okay, it's this is definitely space. Welcome to Brack Space. I don't know, but this is definitely welcome to uh, something space. Okay, we know what the we know what keys they are. Oh, Mary. Uh, hey. Hmm. We don't like the mirror. Floating mirror. Smile warm up behind you. I'm gonna I'm gonna spam it. I heard that I heard that this is this is this it's like something's spooky. I don't know if I'm able to unlock it yet, but I feel like... I was told to spam this. Nine. It's now or never. Ten. Nothing. No jump scare. Hm. The mirror can't hurt you? Yeah, apparently for... Not right now, it can't. Okay. Well. I guess that's the thing. I guess we should have a picnic. Yeah, I'll have a picnic with my friends. God, my ears popped again. Ah, uh, yeah. That tends to happen with the elevation. What? Did you say something? I said... Your ears popped. Because of the elevation. Shh, keep it down. It's not just us here. Can't you see that boy with his kite? He looks like he's concentrating really hard. Oops. Sorry, kite kid. Oh, hey, Mori, fancy seeing you all the way up here. The wind here is stronger than it is on the ground. I wonder why that is. Seems like the perfect weather to fly a kite. A boy stares at his kite in deep concentration. Do you want to disturb him? Ooh, I'm ready for this. I'm just a boy with his kite. We may not look like much, but we have an unbeatable bond. It's not something just anyone would understand. We'll show you how strong we are when we work together. 
Oh, I thought he was gonna get like really mad. Oh, this is quaint. I thought he was gonna get like super mad at me. Also, that's a really like I, I can't like look at the kite. It's actually kind of like bothering my eyes. <laughs> Cuts the kite line. <laughs> Imagine. All right, so we're gonna build up our um, all-out attack meter because this seems like a boss fight. Also, I really like his design. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lucky slice. I'm assuming we should probably start kite kid and kids kite. We're gonna start with the kite itself because the you always go for the subordinates in boss fights when there's two of them. Nice. Get that double slice in. Ready, sir. Bat. Get the damage in. Are we gonna kill the kite? Oh, we killed the kite first. Kite Kid brags about his kite, makes him happy. Oh, repairs. Okay, so we do need it. We need to kill the kid first. Good to know. Good to know. Charm, Kite Kid. Nice. 155. That's crazy. Okay, that's totally fine. Mrs. Ombre. That's okay. We're gonna make heroes sad. Nice. Yeah, we want them all to target Aubrey at the moment. We are going to run and gun right here, and we are going to cook for Aubrey. Raise the bat. Get the run and gun in. Nice, nice crit. No, this can't be. The wind. It's getting weaker. Puffs its chest proudly. Amori uses donut. Nice. Rags about kids kite. Okay, cool. And then I need you to attack. I was wanting you to attack so we can do the all out. I haven't done the all out in so long. Is that gonna kill? No, it is not. But now we have our all out attack. Release energy, yes! But me and my kite have an unbreakable bond. How could we lose? Oh. Dude, I wanted to use the thing! How disappointing, how anticlimactic. Oh my god, I just wanted to use the all-out attack, please. Yeah, that was an oof, even though we won. <laughs> I'm disappointed that we won. Maybe me and my kite should try to fly somewhere else. I haven't told anyone this before, but sometimes when I'm looking up at my kite, I catch a glimpse of a dark void in the sky from the corner of my eye. I used to see it very rarely, but these days it's been happening much more frequently. I wonder if it means anything. I'm assuming that's an area we're going to go to, dark void. Do you want to fly kites with your friends? Sure. Oh, look at that. It's kind of creepy, actually. Wait a minute. Hero's got an actual kite. It's got a bunny. It's got like a face with a fin on it. The bat, and then the cat. Oh, that's nice. This reminds me, though, this actually freaks me out. This reminds me of the Junji Ito story, Hanging Balloons. I think Emily knows what I'm talking about, right? This, this freaks me out. This really freaks me out. Ever since... It, if you want some real nightmare fuel, look up look up uh, Junji Ito, Hanging Balloons. It's a manga. Super freaky. All right, let's get out of this area and let's go do some main story finally. Okay, here's another thing I want to do. I do want to go back to Otherworld for like a split second because I do want to go back to the barn where the plot happened before, right? Still, these flying enemies are really annoying. Okay, so this is the barn from before. The door is locked. Okay, no more going in. Also, there's a cross at the top. Well, it's not really a cross. It's a... Uh, the, what are those called? The wind turn something or whatever? Dude, I just made, I just made, I, I have to post it, I have to post it on YouTube still. I just made a, um, a TikTok about Basil IRL and, oh, I, I saw the, um, I haven't seen this area before, but I did see a, um, what? I didn't even mean to trigger that. I did see a YouTube thumbnail for this area, like, featuring this song, and I didn't click on it because I thought it was, like, a whole other area. I was like, oh, I guess we go to an ice land eventually. But this is cool, so this is what it is. What is uh, Fishing rods. A hole in the ice for convenient fishing? True. Cold soup, but why? Good question. Cold lantern? Refrigerator? But Why? Cold bed on the floor. Okay, something's there. Cool full vice, but why? Some fishing rods. They look like they're used often. Do you want to go fishing with your friends? Sure. Oh, look at Kel. Oh, 
A boot. You hooked up an old boot and then threw it back into the lake. No, why would you throw it back? Oh, we got a hat. Nice. Sun Hat Ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be here, Sun Hat Ghost. You probably are needed in the uh, orange oasis, not gonna lie. What is that, a cooler? Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yes. Really, Mary? Shaved ice in this weather? And what's wrong with that, hero? It's so convenient. Shaved ice is, e is way easier to come by than snow cones. What's the difference between shaved ice and snow cones anyway? Well, realistically, there's not much of a difference. Snow cones just have larger pieces of ice than shaved ice. Larger pieces of ice, huh? Is that why snow cones are so much more expensive? I... I don't know, Kel. I can't really answer that one. Very nice. Thank you very much. And what do you do? A snow cone machine. Would you like to use a snow cone ticket? Um, not yet. I'm sorry we are out of syrup. Oh my god, no. So it's just snow? I'm Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? I will buy. Snow cone for 5,000. <laughs> Hello, loyal patron. Heals a friend's heart and juice and raises all stats for the battle. Oh, that's definitely like an endgame fighting item. A snow cone machine. Yes, I would like to use a snow cone ticket. The snow cone machine dispenses a snow cone. Nice. Let's go. Oh, we have to go down, down the ladder still. Oh my god, what is this? This looks like uh, Legend of Zelda 2 right now. Oh, it is like Legend of Zelda 2. The whole thing just changed. Oh my god, how big is this? You got dead batteries. Nice. What is going on down here? You got a can. Cool. Colony mole. Many sprout moles used to inhabit this place, but a lot of them moved away to merge with a bigger colony somewhere in a big forest. It was a risky move, so some of us stayed behind. My brother left with the rest of the sprout moles. Do you think he still remembers me? Oh, is this where the... Is this, this is the, like, the OG sprout mole colony? Is this where they all come from? The sprout mole is super glued to the wall. Oh, okay. That stuck. That sucks. <laughs> Very big TV. Batsy, my friends used to live in these tunnels, but they all left to look for their missing leader. Do you think they'll ever come back here? Maybe not. Oh, is that why the sprout moles are in the forest? They're looking for their leader. Oh, wait, didn't I kill it? <laughs> was it the big, was it the big sprout mole that we fought before we went to Basil's house? Pretty sure we might have killed it. Okay, I, th I, th I think also we did all the things. I think it's supposed to like loop around. I get it. Oh, where is the gift? Oh, wait, did I ever go up here? Oh, no, I haven't gone up here. Sereno, I don't even know who you are. Legends speak of a pair of twins who guard the orange oasis under their watchful eye. Oh no, I kind of know what this is. I kind of know what this is. Because on YouTube, when I was listening to the Amori soundtrack, a recommended video was the OST for a boss fight that has to do with these guys. I don't know the boss fight. I don't know the characters, but I do know that this is something that's going to come up later on. It is said that they have the power to raise the dead, among other things. I don't know if there's much truth about these legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? Yes. Dude, I really want to have some bread now. Also, mirror. No jump scare. Wait. Nope. No jump scare. And we're gonna go over here. Let's get spiders done, I guess. Let's see what's up with it. Here we go, guys. Not that way. I'm gonna go this way. And. Oh, okay. Am I ready to get jump scared? Yes. You ready to do this, Mori? We'll be right here if you need us. Right, Hero? Uh, I... Yeah, of, of course. Here we go. I'm gonna get jump scared. Oh, nice. You're no longer afraid of spiders. You just don't whoosh. Amori. Thanks for taking one for the team. You got it, Chief. And let's go. It's the spider area. Heroes and Nerd. Pyrefly Forest. Oh, this is the area with the castle. Ugh. On second thought, let's look for Basil somewhere else. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't be such a baby, Kel. There are just some spider webs here and there. Ah, uh, there's a spider in your hair. What? Where? Get it off. 
<laughs> just kidding. Look who's the scared one now. You gonna slap him? <laughs> it's not very funny, Kel. Sounds good to me. I was wondering what the area with the castle was. Okay, so it was Pyrefly Forest the whole time. Looks like we only have two other areas on the map after this. I'm imagining that it's going to be with the water. Well, the water dock goes over here. So I'm wondering how we're going to get down there. Oh, it's probably going to drop down. Oh, it's the well. Look, the well goes straight down from here. Oh, that's deep well. That's deep well. That's where it was talking about. It said that there's, there's a last resort, which might be this last resort. Oh, wait. Is this the Sprout Mole thing? No, the Sprout Mole thing is on the other world. This could be Last Resort. That could be Deep Well. And Deep Well is probably where the water area is after Pyrefly Forest. Got it. Anyway. Um, I'm assuming we have to take that minecart. Maybe? Oh, looks like it's just... Oh my god. Does that spider... Or does that rabbit have spider legs? That terrifies me too. Oh my god. Ugh, Heroes Afraid of Spiders. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so now Hero is going to get scared in this area. That is super creepy. Ew, what's it called? Bug Bunny? Oh, that's so gross. Oh, God, it lunges at you. I can't even imagine, like, a spider just, like, lunging at me. That is terrifying. Also, that did a lot of damage. And learn Trick. Cool. I like how they're like Pokemon and like they learn like their new abilities like over their levels. I mean, that's RPG, but you know, there is a Sprout Mole down there. Oh my God, is that pot? That pot has legs. Is this a matchbox? You got a matchbox. Okay, cool. I guess we should go back to the other area. Oh, right here. There's one over here as well. Who are you? Candly. <laughs> I can't find my teddy bear anywhere. The last time I had him, I'm pretty sure I was wandering through a big pink castle. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? You're pretty sure you were wandering through one. I feel like that's something you would remember. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? I bet he's really lonely. Okay. That is kind of spooky. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that animation kind of scared me. What? It what just happened? Wait, what? Ew, the spider picked us up and put us back down. That's so freaky. Dude, what is going on with this area? This area is freaky. This place is really overgrown, isn't it? You are all so brave for going through this forest. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it is used for. We can also have a picnic. You want to have a picnic with your friends in the spooky spider forest? How are you handling your fear of spiders, hero? <sighs> breathe in. <laughs> breathe out. You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. <laughs> breathe in. <gasps> breathe out. Amor used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Not even a flinch. Look at how brave he's being. Wow, so brave. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Yeah, so brave. <laughs> Everybody's complimenting Amori in his dreams. Makes sense. Here we go. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. I've been told that this mirror will eventually change. Like, there's a random chance that there, there will be a jump scare in the mirror. So we'll find out one day. So that'll attract the spiders away... Well, yeah, we just started exploring this area. You got a wooden track. And we just got picked up by a spider. That's not creepy whatsoever. So I'm assuming that the goal of this area is to... Okay, we can ride this. I didn't know. And the enemies won't touch us. Good to know. Let's see how far we can get. And... No, we have to go all the way back. Let's go. Is it over here? There's a wooden track. You got a wooden track. No, don't pick me up. I actually was thinking to myself, like... I mean, like, there's a lot of games I want to stream, but, like... I was thinking to myself, like, what do I do after Amori? You know, like, because we've been... Like, look, we're, we're going to be playing Amori for a while because I do want to 100% the game eventually. And, like, get all the endings on stream. Um, and right now we're only on our first playthrough. So we have a lot of time. But, oh god, that's so creepy. Potted plant? That is no potted plant. 
That is an Illuminati spider abomination. So is this. Let's see. More lunges at the bunny. And there we go. Perfect. Oh boy. All the endings. Yeah. I figured. I might as well. I feel like I feel like it I feel like I wouldn't be doing this game justice if I didn't see all the endings. It's also the completionist to me. That's like, you gotta see all the endings. So we're gonna do also they just respawned. That was quick. The railroad track is missing a segment. Do you want to sit down a wooden track? Yes, please. I'm assuming we have to. Get away from me! No, 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 I was right there, baby. I was right there. Have mercy, have mercy. You got a wooden track. What is oh, over here? This fog is really throwing me off. This web is too strong to be cut. Okay, seems like it's important then. Let's see. Hey, it's Amori's cat. Or at least it looks like it. Waiting for something to happen? We're about to find out. I just got the biggest Hollow Knight Deep Nest PTSD of my life. It was Nosk but a cat. Oh my god. Yeah, we can all relate to Hero now. Dude. Look at it! Ew, it's like dancing. It's doing like a little samba. Actually, that makes it a little like that makes it a little less scary because it was it was just going like with its claws, with its talons. It was going like that was kind of cute. Oh, it keeps its attention. It keeps its attention. I get it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. I have to I have to focus up for this part. I have to really focus up. Spider pig. Spider pig. What kind of terrifying sound effect was that? Oh my god, it moves so fast. Okay. So we're gonna go up this way now. Slice that. I will catch up with chat as soon as we're done with this area. Am I able to walk right next to it is the real question. <laughs> Hero's like right on top of it. Okay, no, this is just an easier way to go. Okay, so we're about to get jump scared probably. I'm not going to look at chat. So I don't know. But um, this is usually the uh, telltale heart of a, uh, a jump scare. So let's go. Wait for that one to fall asleep. Okay. It's just standing there. Menacingly. No, it's not. A stump. No, no, no. I haven't been playing this game for too long, but... I know. I know my sprites, my character sprites when I see them. And I calls them like I sees them. And that here, there, that here, there, is Basil. If I ever saw the boy, that here, there, is Basil. And Basil is the equivalent of a jump scare. And the music is kind of quiet. There's no way that's actually Basil. Um. Well then, I suppose, I suppose we should just get this show, this rodeo on the road. Very well. You got the magical bean. This lamp was lit recently. 
Oh, please tell me you have to go through that whole area again. Oh my god, this area is stressing me out. There's more area to see? I figured that there was more area to see. I figured, I was like, there's no way this is the end. Now, as I was saying, this here there looks like a uh, jump a scare, if I ever saw one. And now, uh, that here there. <laughs> Stop the voice. <laughs> Sorry, that was just my, that was literally me, that was a coping mechanism. Get to cat for me. <laughs> this that was a uh, that was a coping mechanism to deal with the horror that we've been experiencing. Can you imagine? Like I know this is in pixels, but can you imagine seeing this in like real life? You gotta think about it like that. Don't leave this area until you've completed. By the way, sheep, you can't come back. Thank you for the heads up. All right, let's just. Rip the band-aid off, everybody. What do you say? Oh, it's got a tiny head. I thought I was going to have a bigger head. Daddy Long Legs. How would Long Legs sound? Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. So this is the Lost Forest. There's a lot of subsections. Uh, there's five, actually. Um, We're going to go right first. I'm assuming that this area is... Oh, okay. We got... We, we have a... um. What's it called? What is the what is the forest in the Legend of Zelda called? Yeah, the Lost Woods. Yeah, this is the, uh, the Lost Woods of Amori, it looks like. Okay, apparently it was top right. Unless it's not, and I'm just wrong. Oh no. Hey, wait, Amori was over there. <laughs> wait, Amori was just standing there. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. He's got the cowboy hat. I thought he might have a western accent. Do I fight this thing? Hmm. That's not as terrifying as I thought it would be. I feel like the bug bunny is scarier. Ghost bunny. I love how they're all still bunnies. 81. Perfect. Oh, okay. They die pretty quick. Also, Amori went to the right, so I'm not going to go the wrong way. Where are you at now? I'm assuming you're going to guide us. Okay. Let's go to the right again. I saw Mori go this way. The Shadow Bunny was that way. We'll just go up. Okay. Um, new area. Okay. We got misled by our own shadow. Oh, are you going to say something else? Trying to lose yourself? Or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here. To finish the job. Oh, did I just find the right way? On... Oh, no, 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 it just traced me back to the beginning. So, I think we just got sent back to the start. So, obviously, we took the wrong way. And you're going to say the same thing? Oh, maybe not. Usually, we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. Yes, sir. Um, wait. Was it left? Oh no, we're lost. We're lost in the lost woods. No, 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 we're back here. You're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. Hmm, I kind of like you, Daddy Long Legs. And then a, we'll try going to the right. Oh boy, there it is, okay. Oh, or there's something. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion. No one will know. You picked up a pearl. Okay. There we go. 
We are going to go south. Oh my god, amazing. Sometimes when we hide, we, when we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet? Or are you still lost? Well, you know, with the help of the flock, I've been able to find my way. <laughs> what do you have to say? Forget all you will, or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the inhabitable behind ignorance and watch your life fall. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, just go up. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Thank you, Banana. I like how you preemptively typed my predicament. And the music stopped. Oh, and it's a cutscene. Oh, tell me we fight him. Tell me we fight him. You've reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. At the beginning, there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. The dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. And he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with, new <laughs> Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, will become the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance. Only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, Dreamer has lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an internal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Well, there's our lore. <laughs> I I don't think that I don't think that the letter H. Like I I legitimately don't think that the letter H is not to ruin the mood. Part of the hangman puzzle, because it's I think it says welcome to 
black space. I think it says welcome to black space. No one confirm that for me, please. No one confirm that in chat. No spoilers, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, now that didn't need to be there, did it? Mm. That had no reason to be there. Oh, really? That thing was there because of your game smiles? Wait, is that actually what it's called? WTF factor, which is random? Interesting. Well, apparently my w WTF was high enough for that. Uh, you know what, we'll take it. It's not part of it. There's no way it's part of it, right? What happens now? I knew it! I knew it! I took it for no reason. I knew it. It baits you into thinking that, like, oh, this is definitely important. But, okay, from now on, we're not taking any letters that... I don't know why I took it. We're not taking any letters unless I'm, like, positive that it's part of the puzzle. Welcome to black space. It's fine you took it. I'd love to find out what happens if we lose Hangman. We're definitely going to do that at some point. Okay, well. Also, the lighting is different. Oh, okay, so it looks like we kind of maybe had to. Oh, do we have to do the cat thing again, please? I don't want to do it again. For science's sake. That wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be like an actual jump scare. This entire world is, as we already knew, we already knew it was a dream, but now we know a little bit more about it. So basically, it was created by by Sunny, which is the real world version of Amori. Like, this is all like the dreams and stuff. I'm guessing that after his sister died, Mary, after his sister died, he started making all these different like dream worlds and like, you know, just dreaming. And, but there was still like that taint of like Mary being around and like, you know, like in in his mind, he's like, oh, like he's still like, he's got the PTSD, he's haunted by it. And he eventually consolidates all of them into one world, but like all of his dream worlds into one, but then like he's still being haunted by like Mary and like the darkness and all those and all the PTSD. So he makes it into one world and he... But that's the thing. The Danny Longlegs said, like, hey, the dreamer was like, you know what? Like, the darkness is still here, and the only way to get away from it is to be ignorant. So he created this persona with a different name, a.k.a. Amori, which is who we're playing as. So this is supposed to be like a... Because like, originally he was like, oh, it was just like a white space. Like, that's what the dreams were. But then he made a door, and he started going to other areas and traveling between worlds, and then he made it into one world... So, like, I'm guessing all of these different areas that we visited are, like, the different dream worlds he's been, but now they're all connected by, like, the ladders and stuff. So, and, like, the train that goes into Orange Oasis. So now they're all one, and Amori is oblivious to, like, the actual trauma. But the world is going to fall apart, and we have to stop that. Or maybe we don't, and maybe if it does fall apart, that'll be good for Sunny. Who knows? Sewage slide. <laughs> Sewage slide. <laughs> Okay, that kind of... Now look, I know... <laughs> I, like how, I like how Banana's message comes out as soon as I get jumped by the bear. That bear is an enemy, just pretty sure you are really well leveled. Here we go, we just got jumped by a bear. Um... Ooh, but we're, we have no juice! I knew I should have healed. And get rid of that. Motion. More uses breadfruit juice. Sounds good to me. Oh, never mind. We are not going to make you okay. Finds a friend that is toast. Yep. Oh no! Wait, is the bear gonna attack Hero again? I hope not. <laughs> Rare bear. Attack fell good. <laughs> it did attack Hero again. <laughs> it's a good thing we reduced the attack though. Two hundred and nine. That was a crit. That was amazing. I want to see what it looks like when it's even angrier. Kill uses donut, perfect. Reduce its attack. Nice, nice. Can't go any lower. Good to know, good to know. Wait, this might actually kill it. 
128. Okay, no. Nope, it killed. Okay, I wanted to see what the bear looked like when he was super angry. What is this? Hello, stranger. I am mush, and my lifelong dream has always been to be eaten and enjoyed. Will you finally grant my wish and eat me? Sure. Oh, thank you, stranger. You don't know how grateful I am for this. You got mush. Hmm. Did we, though? Can't wait to be eaten makes a friend slightly stronger. Oh, okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to give that to... Let me see. We're going to give that to... Not hero. Ah, I'm going to give it to Aubrey. Make the glass cannon even more glass. Or more cannon. Mush was full of excitement as he was being chewed. That's disgusting. You just ate it. Like, while it was still alive. You just ate the mushroom alive. One heart, one juice, one attack, one defense, one speed, and one luck. Oh, it's an all stat booster. I thought it was just for... I thought it was just for the strength. Because it was saying that it, um, to make you stronger. Okay, I believe that the minecart has been completely filled up now. So we can actually go ride it. I'm assuming we're going to need that to get through the barrier. Aubrey is less of a glass cannon, actually the tanky one of the friends. Is she really? Aubrey is the tank, Hero is the healer, Kel is more of a glass cannon. Well, not tanky, but more like barbarian if you get what I'm saying. For sure, you should have farmed Mush then, you could have maxed out your characters. Yes, we should have just, like, eaten Mush's entire, like, lineage. Also, this minecart's going really fast. I had a feeling that would happen. Oh, we are crossing a moat. Oh, I think I know what's up here. I think I had this spoiled for me, by mistake. We're going to the castle. Oh boy. Here we go. I think I know what's up here. We got Pluto's thing and Mary's here. Oh, and we have a cutscene. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? <sighs> it doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey look, it's Mary. Of course. Oh no. Mary, Mary! Oh, hello everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. How did you get here? Mary, I... I was so scared. Aw, my man. Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. <sighs> it's times like these, I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero. You're going to have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> okay. Now's a good time to check on the flowers. Sounds good to me. You getting sweetheart vibes? Yeah, you might have been getting them from the figurine at the top of the castle. They are very important sheep. Dude, it's 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 an RPG. Everything, every little detail in this world, man, I'm telling you. Every little thing, and I get it, it's supposed to be like real life, but every little detail in this world is important, you know? Like this this understandably seems like something that might be important. Like Basil when we when we eventually find Basil, as I'm assuming we will, Basil's gonna be like, Did you water all my crops? And we're gonna be like for the stat boosters, yes, but also, I guess, for story now. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Dude, it's, it's like, it's like, one of, my thing, one of the funny things in RPGs, I think, is that, like, if you miss, like, the smallest thing, like, you'll just get, like, the immediate bad ending. <laughs> like, you didn't water Basil's flowers? You sick maniac. Bad ending for you. We got, like, six of them. You can only get the true good ending unless you water every single flower. And yeah, we can have a picnic actually. We get a new picnic in every area, right? Dialogue? This forest is a lot scarier than the one near the playground. And a lot older too. It does have a mysterious air about it, doesn't it? I heard there used to be a huge library filled with books here. But since no one took care of it, over time, the library slowly sank into the ground? Who told you that, Mary? Oh, 
Just some shadows here and there. If you focused, you could see them too. No, no, just ignore what you just said, Kill. Don't try to move on. Whatever. Reading is boring. Who wants to read anyway? Hmm, this is why you're not my favorite, Kel. You just sealed your fate. And that's the Aubrey wants to know the library. That's why she's the favorite. Where is this library now, Mary? Well, if I were to guess, I'd say it would be right beneath us. Like, underground? Yeah, somewhere around here, probably. Challenge accepted. Also, that sprout mole was there. Okay. Oh no. Are these are these sweetheart fans? I'm assuming they're all just lying here. Turn back. <laughs> Sorry, I want to be extra. That is a lot of sprout moles. Boss fight? What was that? Yo! Did we just sidestep that? Sidestep that? What? No. Yo! Eww! It does that happy! Get away! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's made up of the sprout moles. That's disgusting. I mean, like, it's not really it. Ew, but wait, no, that means that, like, that means that, like, this thing is growing its legs through the sprout moles' bodies. Okay. But kind of a bop, though. Wait a minute. Makes it a little easier on the nerves. King Crawler fight. That's his name, King Crawler, or its name, or his name. Okay. I call it a parasite. Also, kind of vibing with, excuse me, with her song. Would hate that she hates centipedes. Centipedes are probably my least favorite insect. Like, spiders are one thing. Centipedes, a whole nother story. We're gonna, we're gonna make King Crawler angry. More lunges, perfect. Oh boy, here we go! Manix on the way! Okay, that wasn't a lot of damage, actually, that's fine. Spicy food, make him angry. Sweet. A sprout mole appears. <laughs> it's just sitting underneath. Oh, we're gonna get our all out attack! We get to use the all out attack! We finally get to use the all out attack again! Now massage the centipede. No, we're gonna make we're gonna make the centipede like super mad. Is it gonna eat it? We should kill the sprout mole first. We should kill the sprout mole first because this looks like a classic example of like a boss being like, "Hey, look, another enemy," and just eating it for health. Bounces the ball everywhere. Just kill it. Just kill the sprout mole. There we go. Amori feels manic! Let's go, and we did 19 damage. Sweet! Look at Amori, we got the mana going. Let's go, manic time! 150 damage, that's totally fine. Draws it attention, perfect. Oh no, look at the sprout moles, they're getting angry too. Hit rate rose, perfect. Sick. Right in the heart. 70 damage out of a chomp. Okay, but it's super slow compared to everyone else. Gotta look at Amori. Alright. Oh, it's almost dead, actually. This is... We might be a little over-leveled, I'm not gonna lie. And I didn't even mean to do it. Um, and we're gonna use... I wish I had fast food right now. Is that gonna kill? Another moving attack. There it is, baby! Amori's party was victorious, and no toast! No toast! Let's go! Sprout? Ew, you found Sprout Mole masks. You mean their faces? You mean their skin? Aubrey Goodall level 17. Mood Wrecker. Cool. Homemade Jam. Yo, we can revive allies now? Is that what it's saying? There we go. You're welcome. We just saved you all, I think. 
the coming years, so you don't have to go out of your way to grind. Sounds good to me. I didn't even mean to grind out, honestly. It just kind of happened. Can we get out of this hard fog? Oh, we get... Wait. Sprout Mole Village. They have so many areas. 